How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today what I've got for you all is another informational video to help all of you get the most out of Forza Horizon 4 while it's still a thing. Now obviously money in Forza Horizon 4 is one of the main things, that's obviously how you buy the cars and you buy what you want to drive. And money in Forza Horizon 4 isn't exactly that hard to get, but it doesn't hurt to have an endless amount of money, which is why in today's video we'll be talking about the auction house, 10 of the best cars and the easiest cars to buy and sell to make loads of money. I've done a few videos about this in the past where I've just told you how to find cars on the auction house to buy and sell, giving you tips and tricks, but I've never really told you exact cars to do. And these 10 cars, there's actually more than 10 cars on this list, but these cars are cars that always seem to work well. Sometimes they'll stop working for maybe a week or two, it'll get kind of all, all over the place, but eventually they'll start to be quite consistent again. So all of these cars on this list are very easy and very good to buy and sell on the auction house. Now obviously buying and selling on the auction house means you continuously search for the car until you find one that's at a really, really low buy price. You snipe it before anyone does and then relist it just for the same price as all the others. And yours will sell just like all the other ones but you got yours for cheaper than everyone else's because you find the cheap cars that have only been listed for a few minutes at a very low price. Let me just give you an example. This Porsche 918 Spider here, if I search for that on the auction house, here it is. We'll see that they're about a million pounds, or a million credits, sorry, 900,000, 900,000. Very, very consistent, and that's good. All of the cars on this list are consistent prices, which is the key thing to making money. 900,000. If we go to my bids, my recent bids, we'll see that I managed to swipe a 918 Spider for... 400,000. That's half the amount. So I'm going to be able to list this straight away for 900,000 and it should sell for about that. Probably a bit less, but either the way, it only cost me 400,000. So that's what this list is about. Each 10 of these cars have such a consistent price and they're very easy to find very cheap ones just hiding there in the background. So you can very quickly relist them for a load of money. Now obviously the first one on the list is the 918 Spider. The Porsche 918 sells for about seven to 800,000 depending on how many people bid on it. So what you would do for the Porsche 918 and for every other car on this list is search for it and you would scroll straight down to where it's like 57 minutes, 59 minutes to the cars that have only been listed for a few minutes. If you don't see a cheap car here, go back out and go back on. Keep searching for the car over and over again until you find a cheap one that's just been listed. For the Porsche 918, you're looking for a car that costs about 400 to 500,000. That's how much you can get the Porsche 918s for. Next up on the list is the Pagani Huayra BC, one of my favorite hypercars, believe it or not. Pagani Huayra BC, and to be honest, the standard Huayra as well, but I like the BC. If you search for the Huayra BC, they have a very consistent price of about 1.6 to 1.7 million. But if you continuously search for the BC, every now and then you'll find one listed for less than a million credits, 900,000, and you just need to buy it straight away and relist it. And because the Huayra has such a consistent price on there, you can very easily sell it again for big amounts of profit. So yeah, Huayra BC is on the list. Look for them for around 900,000 to a million, and you can very easily resell them. It's the whole point of these lists. These cars are very easily resellable but also not too hard to find very cheap as long as you search over and over again until one pops up that's just been listed. Next up on the list is a quite a different one, quite difficult to find, but if you can find them, it's worth it. The Nissan Nismo GTR LM Forza Edition. GTR LM Forza Edition is also listed just like the Huayra BC at about 1.5 to 1.6 million. Sometimes they won't sell, sometimes they do. It's quite weird, I've been keeping an eye on the GTR LM and sometimes just they won't sell at all, but in, in popular times of the day, all of them will sell that go through. And as the point of this list, you can pick them up for very cheap. If you try to auction the car yourself, you'll see that I'm actually able to auction the GTR LM for 700,000. That means that every now and then, on the auction house, you'll find GTR LMs for 700,000, which means you'll possibly get around a million credits profit, as long as they're selling at the time you list it. Next up is one of my favourites, but it's one of the hardest to do. By hardest, I mean they're just kind of a bit rare. 
they're still easy still no complications to do it it just sometimes takes a bit of time and it's the mclaren f1 gt i'm searching for the f1 gt right now on the market and <laughs> there's only two on there so not very many now this is good but also bad in your favor you saw that the mclaren f1 gts were listed for about five to six million credits but as you can tell from the screen they are actually listable for 2.8 million so if you consistently search for the F1 GT enough, because there's so little on the marketplace, if you can be the one to find an F1 GT for 2.8 million credits, they believe me or not, they do get listed, you'll make maybe 3 million credits profit at the most. Next up is another simple one, which just works very nicely, the McLaren P1. Every now and then I'll just go and search for McLaren P1, and it'll just work very well. You can see there's a consistent price, they go for very cheap, but McLaren P1, every now and then you'll see one pop up for about 700 to 900,000 credits. So it's a very good one on McLaren P1. It's not the hardest to do either. You get quite a lot of P1s come through the auction house. Look for them for 700 to 900,000 credits. Just continuously search until you find one. And then you'll very easily make some money when you go to resell it. Very simple. Next up is another difficult one, but probably the last difficult one on this list, which also has a ton of profit in it. That's the McLaren, not the McLaren, the Lamborghini Veneno. If you search for the Lamborghini Veneno, you'll see there's quite a few listed compared to the F1 GT, and there'll be four to five million credits. But anyway, the McLaren Veneno, just like the F1 GT, people will list the Veneno for around two to three, maybe a bit more than three million credits. But either way, two to three million credits is what you can find the Lamborghini Veneno listed for. These sell very well. Four to five million credits, easy. So if you can find one for two to three, you're, out, you're laughing. Easy million credits profit. Next up is another very good one, the Hennessy Venom GT. Hennessy Venom's always been a fan favourite hypercar in all of the Forza games, so they sell very well on the auction house. If you search for the Hennessy Venom GT, you'll see a very consistent price of 1.3 million. You'll scroll through the whole list and you'll see that pretty much every single one is at 1.3 million. If you find one that isn't, buy it. If I go to my most recent bids here, I managed to find a Hennessy Venom for 600,000 credits. Like 10 minutes ago, one came up and I bought it. 600,000 credits you can find the Hennessy Venom GTs for, and we saw that they usually go for about 1.2 to 1.3 million. So about half a million credits profit in the Hennessy Venom, and they're not that rare to find either. So definitely recommend doing that. Next up is the Ferrari La Ferrari. This one's very relatable to the P1 and the Hennessy. It's got a very stable price. There's not a massive amount of profit in it, but it's not that hard to do either. As soon as I find the La Ferrari on this stupid list, there it is. It will take you quite a bit to scroll down to the one hour mark, which is obviously where the cheap cars are listed. But no matter how far you go down, nearly all of them will be for 1.7 million. Apart from this madhead, 2.7 million. Don't know why he's trying that. But occasionally you'll see a Ferrari La Ferrari listed for 700 to 900,000 credits. Search for the Ferrari La Ferrari, you may very well find one very easily, and they're very easily resellable. Again, that's what the whole list is about. And there's about a million credits profit as well if you find the cheapest one for La Ferrari. Definitely recommend it. Next up is actually two cars, but I'm going to merge them into one since they basically have very, very similar prices. That's the Bugatti Veyron and the Bugatti Chiron. If you search for either the Bugatti Veyron or the Chiron, you'll see very consistent prices. I'm just wait for them to load up here. Bugatti Veyron, 2.5 million credits. Basically on the dot, just like every other consistent car on this list and they will get a considerable amount of bids as well because they're Bugatti Veyrons. But you can find Bugatti Veyrons listed for 1 million credits. Just continuously search for it until you find one listed for 1 million, maybe a bit over 1 million, 1.5 million maybe. Either way, this, this car's about to sell for over 2 million credits, so if you can find one for 1 million, that's a million credits profit. The, the Veyron out of every car is one of my favourite ones to do this with, and the Chiron as well basically the exact same prices and they can be found for the same prices as well the Chiron is 2.6 million as you can see and there's tons of them listed they all sell and you can and will find them for around 1 million credits as usual you just have to continuously search and be patient and one may pop up and just buy it 
Next one is actually two in one. It's the BMW M6 Forza Edition and the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio Forza Edition. These ones you'll only make around 100,000 credits profit every time, but there are tons of them. The BMW M6 Forza Edition used to be my favourite a while ago, then it stopped working, the prices got inconsistent, but now they're consistent again. There's something about the M6 that it just always seems to go back to being good to buy and sell. 400,000, 400,000, 500,000, 400,000, 400, 400, 500. They have usual list price of four, 500,000. Now, not every time of the day will they sell for this. Usually people will just win the bids. But if you continuously search for the BMW M6 Sports Edition, you'll find them listed for 200,000 credits, which is half of it. I used to sit here, search and find one, buy it. By the time I'm searching again, another one would have been listed. So there's only maybe 100, 200,000 credits worth profit in the M6, but continuously search for the M6 and you'll find one listed for 200,000 credits every now and then. Just relist it and make a bit of profit. And the same for the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Now the next and sort of last one is a bonus one that will work if you do it correctly. Let me just quickly touch on a touchy topic. When you buy Forza Horizon 4 credits, which I don't recommend doing, from online websites, they give you the credits from vintage cars. They will ask you to buy a vintage car, list it for 10 slash 11 million, and then buy it. So there's genuinely quite a lot of demand for these cars that go for 10 million. So if you search cars, go to car type and go to vintage, whatever it's called, vintage racers. These people that want to buy credits will be so eager to find the cheapest one on this list. For example, this guy is about to pay 3.5 million for this car, probably only to resell it again for 11 million. So a way you can make credits from these vintage races is find them that have like 2 million bid. This car is for 2 million, I'm going to bid on it for 2 million. This one as well for 2 million. This one for 3 million. Every now and then I might even buy one out for 5.5 million and relist it. You sort of have to get lucky, but there's so many people that just want these cars just because they need them to get the credits that they bought. People will just genuinely go mental and buy them. I bet if I can start it to bid with this guy against him, he would continuously outbid me until maybe five, six million. So if you can snipe them every now and then for one, one slash two million, if you can get lucky, list it at a popular time of day and it'll go for a lot more. And that's basically it. Those are the 10 cars that I usually use, or in fact, always use to make my auction house money in the past and every now and then as i said like the m6 sports edition did do it will stop selling well and the prices will start to be all over the place but eventually they'll even out again like the m6 the m6 is back again to being a good car to resell so if you wanted to make some quick credits and start to learn the auction house on this game try out these cars i'm sure there's going to be quite a lot of people watching this video that are going to try these cars but i feel that they're consistent enough to stay very well just continuously search for these cars and try to find them at the cheap prices that i told you about and you'll be laughing with loads of credits but anyway ladies leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts around and content and i'll see you all later